Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. In this one, we're going to look at image overlay or putting an image like up in the corner of of your screen or your, your video for the person watching it to see in the corner of their video screen. So let's get right into that. Okay, so we need to put a video clip in. Any video clip will work. We'll just use one of our um, tutorial videos. So I'll just throw that one in there. And then as always, we've got to make a proxy file. You guys know that. Okay, now while that's going on, we can go in and add our overlay image. So we go to image or sequence, either it's the same thing. So we'll just go to image sequence and we're gonna to go to our desktop where I have an image saved of let me see here. Yes, this awesome 90s type image. And you see it's all stretched weird and everything. That's all right, we'll take care of that. So we need to zoom in here because that image strip is really small. Scroll wheel to zoom in. And basically what we're gonna do is just resize this and treat it as an alpha layer to where it's over top. So first thing first, it appears here that it's already set to alpha over sometimes it's not so you just got to make sure it is set to alpha over <clears throat> okay so to resize it we're going to left click on it so it's selected and then we're going to go to add transform so add effect strip transform okay now that that transform is selected it is tied to that clip we're going to scroll down here in this panel and we're going to resize it. Now if you keep it uniform, that's just gonna keep it the exact same size as what it is. That's not really what we want. So Control Z to uh, undo that. And what we're gonna do is get this image to the size that we want it first. So if we drag, um, I'm sorry, on the scale, if we drag Y, it'll go that way, up and down. If you drag X, it'll go this way. Simple enough. So we can just click on these arrows as well. But we want to get it a small size to where it's laying over top of our video. So we're going to continue to make it look just like it looks now, but make it smaller. So we'll go like this. Drag it like that. Maybe a little smaller. and a little bit smaller that way okay so I'm pretty happy with that now we can move it and I want it up in the corner and I'm noticing now you see this checkered gray and black or light gray and dark gray background behind it in the old version of blender it would automatically switch so I'm thinking we got to make this transform layer an alpha over as well yes okay so now that we have that alpha over go down here back where we were with the uniform scale, position, and rotation, something we'll look at later. But now we can position it by dragging in the X position. Just left click and drag where you want. And the Y is up and down. Just click and drag. Drag to the right to go up, left to go down. And that'll get it up in the corner. Now, like I said in the last video, we, we since this has an effect strip on it, and I know I'm done with it and I know it is where I want it, I'm going to make this a meta strip. So I'm going to click the original strip, hold shift, click the transform strip, go to the strip option in the menu, and then go to make meta strip. Now that is one strip. Obviously, you're going to have to create a alpha over for that layer. <clears throat> okay, so now that's set. Now you can put it wherever you want. So say you're talking about something and you need the image to pop up on the screen, you can put it wherever you want. So just you can just uh, right click or left click that and drag it wherever you want. And then it will. This video it's going to be super short and super simple. And we're going to look at making proxy files for your video files. And then it will pop up where you need it to pop up. So that's easy enough. And then you can do the fade in and fade out to make the image fade in and then fade out and like we did in a previous video a couple videos ago um, we'll show you how to do that so I hope that 
this was uh, helpful in some way. Uh, I know it's a common thing now in videos to put images up in the corner or images wherever you want, uh, but that's how you can do it in Blender. So I hope you guys will leave a comment below letting me know what else you want to know about Blender. We have a lot more of these videos coming up covering a, a, bit, a wide array of things that you can do in Blender as far as video editing. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.